Welcome to a new edition of the Engineering Quick Tips. Hello again, this is Dave, your Quick Tip Guide for the Engineering Job Link. Uh, today's subject is the uh, Pump Affinity Laws. Uh, pump Affinity Laws are uh, laws where you predict the uh, pump characteristics if you do a few modifications to your pump and you know what your pump does now. Uh, I'll get into a little bit better description hopefully as we progress. All right. First thing I wanted to do though before we get into the affinity laws was kind of just over, do an overview of a centrifugal pump if you don't know what that is. Uh, there are several different kinds of pumps. This is just one. A uh, centrifugal pump uh, takes uh, water and slings it from its the center of its impeller to the outer edge to the tip and uh, slings it out uh, of a discharge volute all right of, of a pump casing all right here's a here's a centrifugal pump uh, here inside of the pump is the impeller and the casing is here on the outside uh, normally or typically you'd have an, a motor driving that pump uh, impeller um, there's other forms of driving but uh, typically you think I think I think of a motor driving it uh, here's where you have your fluid coming in and it goes into the eye of your impeller here and then it comes out the top in this case the top there are all kinds of different configurations of centrifugal pumps now if we cut this pump in in half and uh, take a little section view of it you can see the impeller here and the diameter of that impeller is going to be important for our discussion today. Now you can see the little flow arrows there and I have a little graphic here that kind of shows the direction of flow. Flow comes in that impeller and out the discharge there. Discharge flange. All right. So uh, Moving on along we get to our spreadsheet and uh, you really don't have to have a spreadsheet for this. Uh, they're pretty simple formulas, but uh, I, I have got a little quick and dirty spreadsheet set up. And I wanted to offer that to you. You can have it for free if you come to uh, Engineering Job Link, uh, which would be E-N-G-J-O-B-L-I-N-K dot com, engjoblink.com. And you can download that spreadsheet for free. So basically with the pump affinity laws, you've got a couple of set, set of different equations. Uh, some of them deal with impeller diameter change. And, and it, the affinity laws are good for just a small diameter changes, not, not large changes. And the other set, it deals with the speed change. So you wanted to know that what, uh, what flow you're going to have if you reduce the speed of your pump or increase it. All right. In these equations, uh, D stands for the impeller diameter, H is for the head in feet, that's pressure. Uh, Q is a capacity in gallons per minute. Uh, S is speed in RPM, revolutions per minute. Uh, BHP is brake horsepower. And you see subscripts, one and two. One is for the original design and two is for the new design condition. All right. Second set of equations here is they're similar to the first. Uh, they deal with speed. Um, speed is proportional to flow, same, same as before. Uh, and head is proportional to both of those, to the square of both of those. And brake horsepower is proportional to the cube of speed and the cube of flow. All right. So these are our basic formulas. And what we have here is a pump curve. And this is actually a pump curve from an, a previous quick tip on the fire monitor, if it looks familiar. And the, basically the important features, I mean, there's a lot of information here, but what we really want to focus on is this impeller diameter, 10.9375. We also want to focus on the pump curve data points and the shutoff head right here, 450 feet. 
and also the power, 92.6 horsepower, all right? Here's the key data that we just spoke about. Power diameter, shaft head, curve data. Power's not on there, but uh, I'm gonna discuss that in just a second. What I wanted to do here is pop up this uh, spreadsheet now that uh, is the free download. And basically you've got a couple of different tabs, impeller change and speed change. And they look similar. Uh, both spreadsheets have a single point entry and a multiple point entry. All right. And a single point entry, if you're just interested in one point on the pump curve, and in our case, I already put the data in here just to save time. The yellow cells are the input cells. Uh, this was our initial data for the uh, impeller diameter, flow, head, and power. And say we wanted to trim that impeller down to 10 inches. If, if you wanted to do that, or if you just wanted to increment the impeller to, to come up with some, some flow that you're looking to get, or some head, that you, target head that you're after. You can trim that impeller and, and you can get an estimate with the pump affinity laws there. Now if, if you did trim, you, know, you are going to trim the, the, the whole, you know, you're going to trim the impeller and you want to know what the whole curve is going to look like, well you, you stick your whole pump curve in here. 450 feet is your shut off head, there's zero fleet, zero gallons per minute of flow at, at 450 feet of head, shut off head, that's what that means, zero flow at, at shut off, at shut off there, <laughs> all right? And the rest of these data points, 629 through 314, are right here, and the head data points are in here as well. Once you put those data points <clears throat> in the, in the uh, table, it'll spit out uh, an estimated power, but it'll also spit out a new curve for you here and you can see a new curve what that pump is going to do at a new impeller diameter and you can just change that impeller diameter and to whatever you want and, and and see the difference same thing goes for if you go over to this the speed uh, tab same thing if uh, we've got all the same data points in here basically okay if you know we started out at 3,500 gallons per minute, and say we wanted a two-speed pump, all of a sudden, what's that gonna pump gonna do at 1,750 RPM? Well, the flow is gonna split in two. Remember, speed was proportional to flow. Speed is proportional to uh, uh, R RPM. All right, and now power. Uh, your power is proportional to the cube of flow, all right? So since, and to the cube of speed. So since that's the case, your your power and your head, you can see are big differences. Look at that. 423 feet of head went down to 105 because head is proportional to the square of speed. And then power is proportional to the cube of speed. So, look at that. All right, and now you've got a new pump curve here. You could plot that out and see exactly what your new pump curve would look like at, at half the speed. All right, that concludes the video on uh, affinity laws, basically. I'm sure there's plenty of other questions that I haven't covered, but this is just the gist. Feel free to look into the video notes and find our spreadsheet link. There's a free uh, download there for this spreadsheet. You can use it to your heart's content. The only thing I ask is that uh, you don't just spread it out and give it to anybody else. Uh, um, point them back to the, to the uh, uh, website, ingejoblink.com, to get that. Uh, spreadsheet and other information that we provide. This video was brought to you by the Engineering Job Link, where you can earn a dime from your spare time. <laughs>